recently and I thought I'd make a video and kind of try to explain how it works so what we're looking at here is this thing's filled with a liquid now it's not water what I've read is it's some sort of hydrocarbon probably like alcohol or something like that and why that's important is it probably expands easier than water does so this thing is sitting here on my heater vent and it's heating this liquid in here and this liquid's probably expanding up here into the top because air is easier to condense than liquid is so what happens is the liquid when it expands the molecules move further apart now why that's important is because as the molecules move further apart there's less molecules in the same amount of space so it's actually becoming less dense and now these spheres in here they're all exactly the same size but how they're different is they're different weights now these tags hanging off of them which read the different temperatures are different weights but they take up the same space so they're actually different densities now as the liquid heats up these spheres are calibrated so that they fall at certain temperatures inside this thing and I don't know if you can see on the video but as this thing's heating up it's kind of making that like heating wave like kind of like heat motion through the water there goes another one 
and now it's really starting to heat up because the heater vent's getting pretty hot. So these are falling now and they're falling because they're actually heavier than the liquid. The liquid's becoming less dense and these are more dense than the liquid so they're falling down as the liquid expands. Now I hope that explanation made sense. I, uh, this, this sphere down here is actually 64 degrees and up here at the top is 88 degrees and I'm kind of speeding up the process here with this heater vent so I found this thing to actually be pretty accurate it's a large volume of water so it takes the average temperature variations of the room that it's in rather than like immediate changes it takes a while for the liquid to heat up or cool down so it's more of an average temperature than a normal thermometer would be and it's just a fun thing to have around it's more for show than anything else and that about does the video that uh, song I was listening to is one of my new favorite songs actually by uh, Walt Rivero and he made that song with his four orchestra stuff going on thanks Walt I love that song there goes another one hoping to have them all fall down by the end of this video and not have the video be too long these are each separated by four degrees and there's a formula you can actually use normally they'd fall a lot slower and there's a formula you can use to find out the temperature I found it to be really accurate there goes the last one I was using uh, my laser pens for the light show and this computer behind me has got a light sensitive sound sensitive light in it it is now 88 degrees difference in densities.